So Shopify just came out with a huge update on their platform that helps boost conversions as well as sales. Now these are updates that are either about to go into effect or already are in effect in the Shopify platform. So these are things that we really want to start paying attention to and implementing into our stores if we haven't already. As dropshippers, we always want to make sure that we get the most out of the selling channels that we're working with and max out their features. So that way we can max out our profits. So without waiting around any longer, let's dive straight into it. Let's run that intro really quick and let's get to it. What's going on everyone, Mara here with AutoDS. And if you like informational videos on the dropshipping business and staying up to date with everything dropshipping, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. So one of the first things that we're gonna start noticing in the dropshipping stores is actually faster loading times. So Shopify has servers pretty much around the entire world. Now, they just have more. In short, more servers equals faster loading times because when somebody navigates to our website, they're actually sending a signal to a server to be able to retrieve information from our store. So if I'm in the US and I navigate to www mystore.com the server for that store could potentially be in Europe so that means the signal from my computer has to travel all the way to Europe and back to my computer now being online you might be thinking you know it's the internet it should be instant well yes that is the case for the most part when you have local servers if you're sending a signal across the ocean and back that can really delay loading times now instead of a computer hitting a server in potentially a different country it could be hitting one in a different state in some cases depending on where you are loading times can potentially be sliced in half another important thing about faster loading times is whenever a customer has to wait maybe two or three seconds for a page to load, most of the times they're going to end up clicking off and going to a competitor's website. The faster our page loads, the more likely our customer is to actually make a purchase because they don't have to wait for anything to load. Remember that customers typically are impatient. They don't like waiting. They like fast loading times, fast shipping, pretty much fast everything. So the faster that the website loads in front of them, the more likely they are to be able to click through and make a purchase. So the next big feature update that Shopify rolled out with is the one page checkout. So now when a customer reaches your checkout page, instead of having to put in all of their shipping information and then click continue to shipping, then selecting their shipping methods and then clicking again, continue to payment. Now, instead of having to click through all the pages, everything should start loading automatically as you start filling everything out and scrolling down. Now, at the time of this recording, I checked my store and the feature is not just there yet. So do me a huge favor, go to your checkout page and let me know if you have the one page checkout. Do you still have the option to click through the different pages or does everything load up as you fill in and scroll down? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really curious to know who this has rolled out to, if yet to anybody at all. Speaking of the checkout page, we can now also customize it a bit more. So let's click on over here to the checkout page itself. Once your checkout page loads in the theme customization, then you can go ahead and actually start editing everything you need. You can change the colors according to your branding, add any images. For one, we can go ahead here and actually add a banner. Let's wait for that to load. And there we have our banner. You can always change your logos. Now, if you start to look all the way towards the bottom, you're gonna see the different colors that you can change. For one, you can change your accents. Let's go ahead and change this to red. You can see that the color of the return to cart text changed. Then we can change the colors of our buttons. Let's make this instead of blue let's make like a little black right so that's there any errors we have like let's say for example the sold out we can change that as well switch that over to a lime green so it really stands out now you also have the ability and option to extend your checkout page using different apps different apps will of course have different uses most of them will be to upsell though some apps will ask if your purchase is a gift while others will upsell with relevant products and there's also apps for loyalty programs now another cool thing in the checkout editor using these different apps is the fact that you're going to be able to place them pretty much wherever you want if you want one of the apps to be shown right on top of the, your grand total, you can go ahead and drag and drop it there. So pretty much just the same way that you're customizing your themes when you drag and drop the different sections to where you want them to be, you're going to be able to do the same thing using your checkout editor. Now, another really cool feature is going to be the post purchase upsell. This is going to require a separate app, but once your customer places their order, if there's something that they forgot, or maybe there's something that could have been added onto their cart and they just missed it, they're going to have the option to purchase that and upgrade after they check out. And to make things a bit sweeter, you can even offer them a discount. Next up, we have the shop promise badge. This badge is going to appear next to items reassuring your customers that they're going to be receiving their items in a timely manner by the time that they need it. Usually this is going to pop up on items that have a shipping and delivery time of five calendar days or less. Now this badge will include an estimated delivery date as well as feature different shipping times such as next day shipping, two day shipping or free delivery. Now in order to have the shop promise badge available, Shopify does need to deem your account eligible. If you want to check to see if your store is eligible for the shop badge, then just go ahead and check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link to the article down there. The link is going to be to the Shopify article where you can read a bit more about it there. Now, one of the really cool things about this badge
advantage is the fact that it's going to actually update based on times that people probably won't be shipping. So what I mean by that is, let's take for example, Christmas. People aren't going to be shipping on Christmas. Everything's pretty much closed that day. The Shopify badge will actually take that into account and extend it by one extra day or however many days it feels would be necessary to be able to get past this no shipping time. So if it's just one day and typically your product ships and delivers within five business days, instead of showing the 25th of February, it'll show the 26th. The next big feature update is the signed in shopping with shop. So this is going to be pretty much a single login that you're going to use for all Shopify stores. Now, in order to be able to get that single login, you are going to have to be using the shop app. Using that single login, customers are going to be able to make purchases a lot quicker and the whole process is just going to be a lot more streamlined. Instead of having to put their passwords and their email every single time they go to make a purchase, whenever they reach the checkout page of any Shopify store, the shop app will prompt them to sign in, whether it be with their passwords or their pass keys from their phone. So let's say you're using an iPhone and you have Face ID. You can use that same Face ID to be able to authenticate instead of using your password. Speaking of the shop app, customers are now also going to have the option to be able to follow certain stores on the shop app directly. Following stores can give them access to different discounts and store updates. Now, this might be one of the coolest and potentially most useful updates that Shopify has come out with. At the time of this recording, this feature is currently not yet available, but they are slowly rolling it out to everybody on their platform. Shopify is officially joining the AI revolution and they're going to be offering AI generated storefront content. Now, if you've seen our chat GPT video, you know how helpful AI can be for our dropshipping stores. It can do everything from writing product descriptions, optimizing titles and optimizing all our SEO. If you haven't seen that video, then please watch it right after you watch this video, because trust me, you don't know what you're missing out on. In that video, Lidon really makes everything super easy to understand. He breaks everything down so that way it's easy to start working with. And if you look through all the comments, you're going to see how many people have been finding it super useful. A lot of people have really been using this video to start learning more about AI and scaling their dropshipping businesses. AI is a huge time saver, which makes this new Shopify feature an absolute gold mine. Trust me, once again, you really don't want to miss out on this. Shopify currently does have a wait list that you can join to be able to stay up to date. But pretty much the way that this works is you're going to be inputting your title and two or three different keywords that describe the product itself. Shopify magic is going to be what Shopify calls their AI system. Now in your Shopify admin section, you're going to be seeing a little Shopify magic icon. When you see that, that's going to mean that you now have access to their AI platform. Now currently in my Shopify store, I don't have it on there. It has not been released to me, but Shopify has said that they've released it to certain merchants. So go ahead and check out yours. See if you can find that Shopify magic icon. And if you do, make sure to drop a comment down below, letting me know that it's on there. Play around with it and let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Bundles are a fantastic way to be able to upsell and increase your average order value. So if you're not offering that, make sure you start offering that. Shopify is actually coming out with an app to be able to help you make bundles a lot easier. The Shopify bundles app is going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to bundle different products together and sell them at a discount, thus increasing your average order rate and maximizing your profits. The Shopify bundles app currently is in early access. So if you want to sign up, just go ahead and check out the article that I'm going to have linked down below. Now, speaking of bundled discounts, Shopify is also going to give you the ability to bundle discount codes. Shopify is going to have their own discount apps that are going to make it easy to be able to bundle together different discounts. So you're going to be able to offer free shipping along with a buy one, get one, and maybe even a 40% off. The bundled discounts are obviously all going to be set. Know that you are going to have the option to be able to bundle different discounts together. On top of that, they're also going to be offering channel specific discounts. So you can have one specific discount for Google, another one for Facebook, and another one for Instagram. So Shopify has also released a translate and adapt app, which as the name implies, it helps translate. Using this new app, you're going to be able to translate all of your products into different languages. So you're going to be able to have a side by side comparison of whatever language you're choosing to translate to. Of course, you're going to be able to translate your titles, descriptions, variations, pretty much anything on your product page. This is going to be especially useful for a store that you use in multiple countries. Shopify also makes it a lot easier for you to start working with different influencers in your particular niche. So that way you can start expanding your influencer marketing. Shopify is now going to have their creator platform, which is going to be working with the Shopify collabs app. This is going to make your influencer marketing process a lot easier. The Shopify collabs app is going to help you manage your collaborations with different influencers and just streamline the entire process. You're going to be able to have a specific page on your website where people can go and apply to be an influencer or collaborate with you. You're also going to have the option to make affiliate links or affiliate code. And of course, on top of everything, Shopify is going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to pay your influencers their commissions. Shopify forms is also being implemented to be able to help you capture emails a lot easier. You can add the Shopify forms app to be able to start capturing different emails by offering different incentives. So you can offer something like free shipping or 10% off your next order in exchange for their email. Really quick, this is actually what the app looks like and it's super easy to use. You can go ahead and change the display type so you can have either a floating display. You can go ahead and select one of your discounts to be able to offer in that form. You can add a little title. Let's say get 10% off for your email. Obviously, that's not what we would put, but 
quick example. In the form, you can go ahead and just leave it like that. Stay in the know. Oh, and really quick, if you're wondering, the teaser is what it's gonna look like when the form itself is closed. Once they click on it and they open it, then they're gonna see the actual form itself, which is where you're gonna put stay in the know or whatever you decide to put. Let's go ahead and actually just copy everything so we can see how it looks. Get inspiration, new arrivals, and the latest offers to your inbox. All we need is your first name and your email. Now, after they hit sign me up, then you can put the success message. You're in the know, here's your discount code or whatever it may be. Of course, you have the option to be able to customize it to your brand colors or however you want it. So you can change all the colors here. Let's change the background, the text, let's make white. The accent colors, let's make a nice little yellow. But aside from that, you also have the option to add an image. You can choose how it behaves on either a mobile or a desktop version of your website. So you can either have it show on all pages or just choose the specific pages that you want it to show on. There's different triggers that you can choose to be able to have it pop up. So as soon as they land on your page, it's gonna pop up. Then you also have the second and third page, meaning it's not gonna pop up until they click on the second page or the third page of your website. And another really cool feature of the Shopify forms is this right here. You have the option to show the visitors your form before they leave. So as soon as they're about to click out, if they haven't made a purchase, the form is gonna pop up and give them a little incentive to stay on your page and add to checkout and complete their purchase. Next up, we have more granular and specific permissions that you can give your different staff members. Now, being in the dropshipping business, we don't really have too many staff members. We don't have people on site. Maybe we'll have a few people that can help us out, but for the most part, we're actually gonna be working with virtual assistants. This particular update is gonna give us a lot more access and control to the things that our virtual assistants can see or have access to. Now, of course, as dropshippers, more than likely, we're gonna be using something like AutoDS to be able to streamline the entire dropshipping process. So within AutoDS, we actually already have the option to be able to give different permissions to different virtual assistants. So really quick, let's go on over to our dashboard on AutoDS and click on the settings on the bottom left. Once we're there, you're gonna see on the top, you're gonna have the users tab. Go ahead and click on that. As you can see, Frank is already one of our virtual assistants. He already has all his different privileges. From here, you can actually either add a new one or just edit Frank's. Let's just quickly go ahead and edit Frank's. So we're gonna edit and you're gonna see there you have the option for his name, his email, the password that they're gonna use to sign on to the AutoDS platform and all of the different stores that they're gonna have access to. You can either give them access to one store or multiple. Now this doesn't specifically apply to only Shopify. Here you can give them access to your Amazon stores, your Shopify stores, your eBay stores, or pretty much everything. Now right underneath that you have all the different privileges that you can give them. So as you can see, Frank has the option to be able to view the dashboard, view and edit active product, this new products, and a few others. Now comparing it to the Shopify granular permissions, it might be a lot more convenient to actually keep using AutoDS for this because using AutoDS, as I mentioned, you can have one virtual assistant manage a bunch of different stores from one platform. That can make it a lot easier for your virtual assistant to manage all of your different stores from one place rather than having to log in, log out, log back in, and just taking time away from actual work. Now, if you want a bit more information on virtual assistants and how they work with AutoDS, then just go ahead and make sure to check out this video right here. The link to it will be down below in the description. Now, last but certainly not least, we have taxes. Taxes can be something extremely hard to learn. They vary by state or by country. And overall, it's just a headache. If you go to any one of your product listings on Shopify and you look over to the right, you're gonna see the product organization tab. Right under that, you're gonna have the product category. And right under that, you're gonna see that that helps determine the US tax rates. Here, you always wanna make sure that you have the correct product category. If you have the wrong one, Shopify can charge the wrong taxes. And at the end of the year, you can either end up owing taxes or having to pay a fee. Taxes are extremely important. And trust me, you don't wanna over collect or under collect. That can really set you back and cause a few problems that is just best to avoid. So once again, always make sure you have the appropriate product category selected. So that pretty much breaks down everything that we need to know about Shopify's new updates and how it can affect our dropshipping business. Are you gonna be taking advantage of any of the things that I listed in this video? If you are, then make sure to let me know down below what you found most useful. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, bringing you all the latest information in the dropshipping world. If you found this video informational, if you found it useful, if you liked it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, if you did like the video and found it informational, make sure to leave a like. As always, I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business and catch you all in the next video.